<clears throat> shalom, shalom, all praise and glory and honor to the Heavenly Father and His Son through the Holy Spirit. Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Rakahakwadash, the Buanas, to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Ruel. Shalom to the whole elect out there and the elect lady and your children. And um, this going to be quick. <clears throat> you know, a quick one. I'm at plantation, a little break real quick through the spirit. And um, as you can see, this is Andre Ward. I don't know if you brothers know who he is. Me personally, I follow boxing. You know, I love boxing, you know. And um, I grew up, I, let me stop going into it. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, Andre Ward, I'm going to play the video. And, um, you know, just another victim, you know, just another victim being captivated by, uh, you know, the sensationalism of Christianity, you know, and... Um, you know, a lot of our people, you know, they got the right words. You know, they got fair speeches, like the scriptures say. You know, with fair speeches, deceive the simple. You know, and, um, you know, they got the zeal. Romans chapter 10, they got that zeal, but not according to knowledge, as the scriptures say. So I'm going to play this and get like two scriptures, you know. I want me to share this message with y'all because I believe it's some men in the room. That God is saying, give it over to me. This forgiveness thing is real in the kingdom. With the world, it's an eye for an eye. and You get over on me, I'll get over on you. But that's not the heart of God. And that's not the type of heart that we carry. We've got a different power working for us. We've got a different spirit working for us. And I just want to tell you guys today, it's okay to let it go. Some of you in this room have been yearning for the presence of God like you used to feel it. You got to forgive. Some of you have never felt the presence of God. You've only seen people talk about it and you've only seen it from afar. God wants to invade your life. And he wants you to sense and feel his nearness and his presence. And he wants you to walk in victory. God gave Job double for his trouble. God wants to restore some things in this place today by way of forgiveness. That if we would humble ourselves under his mighty hand, if he would respond to his word in obedience, if we would have the audacity to trust him, God, they got, they're getting over. <clears throat> yeah, but what do the Lord wants? Obedience, right? And a lot of you Christians don't believe in the law. I bet if you ask him, he's going to tell you Jesus. He's going to say, you know, the law is done away with. But that's not obedience. The law is still here. The, hey, Paul said we established the law, right? All right, let's go there real quick. We established the law. What's that, Romans 3? Let me go to Romans real quick. <clears throat> 31, I think. Yeah, here we go. All right. Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid. Yeah, we establish the law. See? We establish the law. Now we go to Second Ezra. Uh, what's that? Seven? No, not nine. Nine. Uh, seven. What it says. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works. And by faith, whereby, whereby ye have believed. So it go hands in hand, you know. I guarantee you, you know. But see, that's the spirit of Christianity. It's witchcraft it as a way of captivating the spirit of Jake. And making him feel like he's doing the right thing, but he's not. How is this right, man, for this man to do this and not be punished? If we would have the audacity to trust him with that. We would feel the presence of God like we never have before. Clarity would come back to our minds. The torment would cease. The peace would come. 
God has called each and every one of us to live. No, no, the torment would not cease, man. We're supposed to be here to suffer. But it comes with a balance. <clears throat> Romans 5 and 3, and not only, I'm going to start at 2, by whom also, no, 1, therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with the Most High through our Lord Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, by whom also we have access by faith into, it, into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of the Most High Yahweh, right? Check this out. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. Knowing that tribulation work of patience and patient experience and experience hope. See? So we have to go through the narrow gate. You know, the torment ain't gonna cease for good. You know? No, we're gonna go through a life in the overflow. I believe God. So, you know, <clears throat> as you can see, is Andre Ward preaching now? You know, Hosea 4 and 6, all right? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of the Most High. See, the law of the Most You have forgotten the law of the Most High. I will also forget thy children. Now we read it in the NLT, it says, my people are being destroyed because they don't know me. And one way of being destroyed is being under Christianity, being under Islam, being under these different religions that have no clue of what's going on. All right, you're being destroyed because they don't know me. Since you priests, right, refuse to know me, I refuse to recognize you as my priests. Since you... Since you have forgotten the laws of your power, I will forget to bless your children. See, it's going to work for God. And yeah, that's what's going on. Uh, let's go into the word forgotten. Where is that right here? Seeing that it's forgotten. Strong's H, 7911. Shachach, Shachach. And second entry. Shacheach, Shacheach. <clears throat> so you see, to forget, see, ignore. And that's what it really boils down to. I don't really got to go too much. It, it just means ignore. You know, that's it. You, it it's almost, uh, 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 and that's what it is. You tell them, well, you know, you can't eat pork, can't eat shrimp, you got to, uh, you know, Keep the Sabbath, you know, um, no swine, you know, can't commit adultery. You got to change your life around. You got to, uh, they don't want to hear that. You know, they don't want to hear that. They want to ignore it. Cease to care. All right, don't care. Ignore it. All right, let's get Romans one more. You know, I got to get back to work. Romans chapter 10. Um... All right, Romans 10 and 2. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. Verse 2. I know what, in, I know what enthu, if enthusiasm, enthusiasm they have for God, but it is misdirected zeal. You see that? Misdirected zeal. All right. Zeal, you know, excitement of mind. When you think about, um, you know, the music, the band in Christianity, the church, you know, that, that, that excites you. You know, they have that, you know, they want to embrace, you know, but they're just lacking. They're misdirected. Like the scripture said right here, verse 2. I know what enthusiasm they have for God, but it but it is misdirected zeal, man. That's it, man. All right, so um, 
you know, Lord willing, you're edified. Shalom.